the Exatouch Support Knowledge Base has a new look and feel. This revamp allows us to regroup our topics by workflow while still allowing you to find what you need. We've brought over the content from our original knowledge base. Release notes, frequently asked questions, and reports are prominently featured for ease of access. Articles are now grouped by workflow and cover the topics you need, including payment processing, vendor management, promotions, discounts. Individual article pages have been updated as well. A popular with box indicates what business verticals an article is targeted towards. Our new homepage design allows us to more flexibly group articles by workflow, and that's reflected here in related topics. In this example, creating labels might be related to label printing, helpful to someone who's doing inventory setup and management, or for someone who's simply adding and managing items. This allows you to browse for related topics you may need. Related articles have also been updated. Every article included is presented with a curated list of articles designed to help you find more in-depth information about each topic. Finally, we've added feedback options to all of our articles. Rate an article from one to five stars, or simply tap Tell Us More to go to our contact page. Here, you can send us specific feedback about knowledge base articles. If we need more information, We'll reach back out to you. Other changes we've made include version compatibility information for a number of our articles. For example, if you're running Exatouch 8.286 or higher, this article's for you. If you've not yet upgraded and are running an older version of Exatouch, tap the prior release link to read a version of this article more relevant to your needs. And if you're running an older version of Exatouch, you find that you're ready to upgrade, tap the Upgrade link and let us know. We'll get in touch to evaluate your needs and get you upgraded as soon as possible. Additionally, all of our pages are presented in responsive design. Whether you're browsing using a tablet or a phone, it's easy to scroll through and see the information you need. All of the updates we've included work here, and you can use the extended tools of your mobile device to zoom in, zoom out, scroll through articles, or return to navigation and search with a single tap. Let's take a look at search. You might come to the knowledge base looking for more information about default vendors. You can scroll through the targeted topics, tap vendor management, then quickly and easily scroll to find the article you're looking for. If you didn't spot a helpful article right away, switch back to search. Enter the phrase you're looking for in the search field, such as default vendor. Articles returned are based on relevance. Set a default vendor for an item for current releases, or set a default vendor for an item prior releases, in case that's what you're looking for. Prior release articles aren't shown when you navigate articles from the home page. We show them when you search, just in case that's what you're looking for. Other improvements to your browsing experience include adding a group of articles called Getting Started with Exatouch Point of Sale. Tap this link to get all of the articles related to getting started or browse through the categories in this group. We want to make learning about Exatouch easy to explore and let you hit the ground running. Helpful hardware accessories incorporate and complement our existing frequently asked questions. We've expanded hardware information to include specifics about our barcode scanner options, integrating weighing scales, the label printers we support, and more to meet your needs. Another part of this update includes enhancements to our release notes by making them easier to get to and page through. Now they're tied together through a release series. Tap the built-in navigation for each article to page between each article in the series. And we haven't limited this to release notes. We'll be building out series as appropriate for groups of articles. For example, our pickup and delivery series starts with expanding your use of our delivery management tools. In this series, we talk about what your users can do with the workflow you set up and what you need to do to expand your operation to include pickup and delivery orders. As you work through this series, 
you'll see the steps you'll need to complete with the assistance of our support and success teams. Finally, while you can reach us through our contact page, you can also chat with us or leave a message if we're offline. Tap chat, enter your contact information and query, and we'll see what we can do to help you out. If we aren't here, leave us a message and we'll reach back out to you. Thanks for joining us today to look at the new Exitouch support knowledge base. Feel free to reach out to us with any questions, suggestions, comments, or solutions. Thanks.